Hi teachers and welcome to the Science Bus World! Today we are gonna talk about optics. Let's try to keep an eye on the material that we are going to use. A light source. A mirror with a plastic frame. A diaphragm with a series of slits. A plain convex prism. A trapezoid prism. A goniometric disc. Let's start. The law of reflection. Just by using our light source, posing on there a diaphragm with one slit, and placing the mirror on the goniometric disc, students can easily observe that we have an incident ray and a reflected ray. Both of them form an angle with a normal line. As you know, these two angles are equal. They can put their hands on by changing the angle as well as using three slits rather than one. The law of refraction generally known as Schnell's law. This law governs the behavior of light rays as they propagate across a sharp interface between two transparent media. The air can be the first and for instance the glass can be the second one. Using a plain convex prism students are going to observe both reflection and refraction. This is the right moment to boost their level by figuring out how to calculate the refraction angle by using Schnell's law. They'll find out that the angle of refraction is ever less than the angle of incidence. Total reflection low. Just by inverting the position of the plan convex prism, we can bring our classroom on thinking that something is changing. The angle of refraction will be even greater than the angle of incidence. They are ready to find and eventually to calculate the critical angle. And why not to figure out how to make optical fibers on their own. Newton prism. As we know, a mixture of equal amount of all wavelengths of light produces white light. That said, we can demonstrate on the fly something that Newton did over 300 years ago. A prism breaks up white light into the spectral colors. To find more and more about Science Bus, visit our website. Don't forget to subscribe our YouTube channel. I've already shared videos about mechanics experiments. Find that here. Discover the main features of Science Bus, the kids, as well as how to use water rather than current here. Okay, teachers, it's enough for today. Bye for now.